near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. Absolute format is the best way to own this store. Time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. How's it going, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And today I get to talk about my top 10 Collected Edition Essential Buys Must Reads for the month of March of 2024. So join me. And welcome back, everybody. Now, I do this every month where I pick 10 books that I suggest to you all to buy or read and sometimes i sneak in 11 12 i think i've gotten crazy like 15 at one time uh 13 but i'd like to really just limit myself to 10 uh because that's just the way i am you know you can't buy everything and if i were to pick 10 books out of this list what would it be and there were a lot of good books in this particular month now before going any further please don't forget to smash that like button it goes a long way for us here on the channel Okay, so let's go ahead and just start talking about these books and why they made it on the list. And kicking off the list is... Batman Beyond, the animated series classic compendium, the 25th anniversary. So you have work in here from Hilary J. Bader and Rick Burchett. Also in here is Craig Rousseau. And this book is 752 pages. It is $59.99. We had a Batman uh, Batman Adventures Omnibus. We're getting the Batman and Robin Adventures Omnibus. So why is this one a compendium and not an omnibus? That I can't answer. But why is it on the list? It's because I've read a lot of this stuff. And this all takes place... Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. I think it's the year to 2039 or 2040. Oh gosh, it can't be that around the corner uh, all right all right let's not think about that uh but this collects the original batman beyond six issue miniseries plus the 24 issues of batman beyond when it went in, into an ongoing series and it's never been collected in its entirety and it also has the guest appearance in superman adventures number 64 but this is the story of Terry McGinnis and how he becomes the new Batman for a new era. He's a teenager and we have an old Bruce Wayne who's retired and he's also a reclusive. And of course inspired by the TV show and a lot of the stories much like Batman Adventures being just standalone stories that are phenomenal. Uh, but I've never read the ending of this i think they collected maybe like one or two trades if i'm not mistaken now this isn't to be confused with the ongoing series that came out a couple of years ago uh, some of it written by dan jurgens this is the original stuff uh that came out when the cartoon was out so absolutely making it on the list for that week of march the first week of march also the first week of march from dc comics superman emperor joker the deluxe edition there are two covers to this one there's a direct market and a standard edition cover but you have jeff Loeb, ed mcginnis uh the people that worked on red hulk the people that worked on of course superman batman and joe kelly writing some of the stories doug mankey it's an alternate reality i love stories like this these never get old collecting superman 160 and 161 Adventures of Superman, 582 to 583, Man of Steel, 104 to 105, Action Comics, 769 and 770, and then Superman, Emperor, Joker, number one. So what happens when reality goes wrong and Joker is now the emperor, not of just the world, but the entire universe? Well, Superman's got to fix this, right? Anytime there's stories like this, I, I don't know, there's something about me that brings the inner child out. I really like alternate takes or alternate futures, you know, Days of Future Past or Age of Apocalypse. So I, Exiles was one of my favorite series. Uh, it's fun and also a really quick read. It's been available in trades. And the last time it was a, a thick trade that collected everything. But now it's coming out in a deluxe edition. And speaking of deluxe edition, the next book on the list is I Am Legion, the oversized edition hardcover from humanoids due out on march 5th and the book retails for 39 dollars 99 cents has 184 pages this all takes place of course in europe uh in an alternate earth december of 1942 
And it's about a group of people that are trying to survive against the Nazis and perhaps vampires are involved. If you've never read it, oh my gosh, I I had a trade paperback of this and absolutely love this book. It's done in a European style storytelling. It's Fabian Nuri that did this. Uh, so if you're not used to the pacing of European comics, it might be a little slow pace, a little edited strange, but man, it's such a fantastic read. Such a fantastic read. And just the look of Cassidy was art is just phenomenal. And yeah, if you haven't had a chance to read it, it is coming back to print in a big oversized hardcover format. Next up on the list, March 12th or 13th. Not 14th. Yeah, 14th is my birthday. I'll be Thursday. But anyway, X Factor by Peter David Omnibus Volume 3. Oh, of course, I'm recommending this one. Collecting issues of X Factor 40 through 50 when it was renumbered. So it's like they went from an anniversary issue of issue number 50 and they're like, hey, the legacy number of the next one is 200. Let's do another anniversary issue. So 200 to 232. And then 224.1 and Nation X X Factor one shot. Uh, so this is all taking place from the era of Utopia to Schism. And of course, oh my gosh, there's a big cliffhanger that you read in the second volume. And a lot of it gets resolved here. So by now you've got the team of Multiple Man, of course, M and Darwin and Longshot and Siren and Richter and Strong Guy. Uh, Wolfsbane joins the team for a little while, but you also have Polaris and Havoc. I love this era of X Factor. X Factor Investigations is some of my favorite. We need one more, no word of that yet, if it's going to be collected in an omnibus format or not. But I believe one more omnibus would wrap up Peter David's era of X Factor. Delicates, the Lux Edition hardcover. Absolutely loved Sheets. This is the second installment of a trilogy in Sheets, and now it is coming out in a deluxe edition hardcover, just like Sheets did. This is by Brenna Thumler. And Sheets is a story of how Marjorie Glatt ended up becoming a friend with a dead kid uh, that was a ghost. When, uh, when, when, Wendell. Wendell the ghost and wore sheets, right? Like a, like a blanket. And uh, she went into the afterlife and came back. And this is all... A story set in that particular world if you're a fan of sheets and if you haven't read sheets it is a phenomenal read it's all ages it's wonderful it's a beautiful story about friendship and the afterlife and gives you hope and this is the follow-up to that I haven't read the third one yet uh, this one here is about Eliza Duncan though this one's uh, featuring another character uh, but you do have some returning characters back and the week of March 19th Ultimate Marvel by Jonathan Hickman. One of my most wanted omnis. Of course, I'm recommending it because if you are a fan of Hickman and everything he did for Marvel, building up things from Secret Warriors to Fantastic Four to Architect or Shields, Architects, uh, what was that called? Shield or, uh, of Humanity? Yeah. Uh, the Shield miniseries, both of them. And then, of course, going into the Avengers and then Secret Wars. This is where he lays the foundation for some of the things in there. Ultimate Thor 1 through 4, Ultimate Comics, Hawkeye 1 through 4, Ultimate Comics, Ultimates 1 through 12, and Ultimate Fallout 2 through 6. In Ultimate material from Ultimate Comics Fallout. In Ultimate Comics Fallout is where you're going to see the foundation of some of the things that he's doing that will play a big part in his Avengers run and his Secret Wars event. The Fourth World Omnibus Volume 2. This one's big. I mean, not just in size. It's 1,336 pages, $125. Uh, but it's big because we're getting the remaining issues of the Mr. Miracle series. So you have 19 through 25, The New Gods, 12 through 19, Adventure Comics, 459 and 460, Brave and the Bold, 112, 128, and 138. DC Comics Presents 12, First Issue Special, 13, Justice League of America, 183 to 185. The big one here, Legion of Superheroes, 290 to 294, and annual number three. So that is the Dark Side Saga, or the Darkness Saga, sorry. Secret Society of Supervillains, 1 through 5. Superpowers, 
1 through 5, Superpowers Volume 2, 1 through 6, Superpowers Volume 3, 1 through 4, Superpowers Collection 13 through 23, Super Team Family 15, and Stories from DC Specials Series 10 and Legion of Superheroes 287. So this will have an introduction by Paul Levitz, who of course is the gentleman that wrote the Great Darkness Saga. And it's gonna have for the first time a lot of these issues that have never been collected before. Uh, so you have, of course, you know, based on the work of Jack Kirby, and there is some Jack Kirby stuff in here. Uh, Jerry Conway, Paul Levitz, and Steve Englehart, Paul Cooperberg, Don Newton, Keith Giffen, just to name a few of the creators. This is a big book. I mean, if if you like completing everything, this is a huge book for people that have the fourth world. And interesting that they're calling it Omnibus. Well, I guess it makes sense that is Omnibus Volume 2. Uh, next up is Descender, the Compendium. And I know, you know, there are fans of compendiums and there are fans of just hardcovers. But if you haven't had a chance to read the series, it is a phenomenal series by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Wynn. This collects all 32 issues of that series about Tim 21. And he's just a young robot and his companions are struggling to stay alive in this universe where all of the androids have been outlawed. So it is a beautiful, like, heartbreaking story but one that should be read in case you have not had a chance to read it. Next up on the list, March 20th or 19th, it was one of my most anticipated books this year, but the initial D, Omnibus. Baby, you knew where you were in the late 90s when this stuff was coming out by Tokyo Pop, and Tokyo Pop unfortunately never finished it. Uh, but this is the two-in-one, and it is collecting the, uh, so of course, volumes one and two, $22.99. And it is all by Shuichi Shigeno. And this is all Takumi Fujiwara's world of drift, pretty much drifting. And it was so, I mean, this stuff was huge. It's it spawned into video games. It spawned into an anime. It spawned into a spinoff series. Uh, oh my gosh, what was it? Uh, Fast and the Furious 3 Tokyo Drift was in pretty much Initial D, the live action movie. Uh, so uh, this just reminds me of that particular time when cars and drifting and driving fast was just everything in life. Late 90s, early aughts. I honestly don't know how far Tokyo Pop made it because I had, I had just stopped collecting them after a certain volume. Uh, but hopefully... The folks at Kadansha will see it all the way through. Excited, regardless, that it's actually coming out. And it's going to be an omnibus size. So it's going to be bigger. Let's see here. It's all new, large sized, two and one. Okay, I think it just means the thickness. I think it's going to be as tall as a regular Tonka Bond. But I guess we'll find out that last week, or the third week of March. But the last week of March, absolutely 100% recommending Spider Girl Modern Era Epic Collection. Legacy. So this is volume one. It has been released as a complete collection before collecting the what if issue 105 where she makes her first appearance and then spider girl one through 15 the half issue in annual 99. So this is pretty much the story of what if Peter Parker and Mary Jane had a daughter and that daughter may or may day Parker as we call her becomes spider girl. So, because the, pair, the character was so popular in that What If issue, she ended up getting her own series set in her own universe. So, you are going to see characters or versions of characters of Spider-Man that are going to be appearing through these pages. And you know, characters like, oh my gosh, Dark Devil and Wild Thing, uh, the Fantastic Five, and of course some of the Avengers. But, oh my gosh, this is so phenomenal. Tom DeFalco... And Ron Friends working on this particular uh, series with Patrick O'Leaf. Um, if you haven't had a chance to read it, you are in for a freaking treat. If you're enjoying the, what was it, the uh, Ultimate Spider-Man by Jonathan Hickman or the Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, this just takes it back home to a simpler time. Yeah, reminiscent of that Silver Age kind of storytelling without the heavy dialogue. It's just pure fun and just full of heart and joy. Absolutely love this series. Now, if you're interested in purchasing any of the books that I'm recommending, check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, 
emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was my top 10 list of books to read or buy or check out the month of March of 2024. In the comments down below, let me know what books you are checking out, what I'm crazy for, for suggesting, and yeah, what your top 10, your top five, your top one would be for the month of March. But that's it, everybody. Stay healthy and safe out there. Thank you again to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Much love.